And so this family's from Bendigo. Mm -hmm. And she's got two older brothers, and the whole family moves to Melbourne. Again, you know, both parents have to give up their jobs Mm -hmm. and start again. Uh, One of the brothers is a budding AFL player. So he's quite happy to be in Melbourne Mm -hmm. um, and gets in to play for one of the local teams and has his eye on maybe one day playing for the AFL. So he's quite happy, but the other brother hates Melbourne. Ah. And so the family goes through a lot of disruption and the main character, Brenna, also having been a bit of a superstar at her country ballet school... Well, top of the heap to bottom of the heap sort of situation. Exactly. Yeah. How old is she in the book? She's 12, about 12, going okay. on 13. Yeah. Um, and for the Australian Ballet School, she would come in at that point as a part-time student, mm-hmm. but everyone still has to audition. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Australian Ballet School were fantastic. I, actually, I was going to ask, did you go there and research? Yeah. yeah. So I, interview, I started off by interviewing the director... Um, of the student's Lee roles. She mm-hmm. was fantastic. I interviewed her um, one day and then I was able to go back and watch a class and went around and had a look at the school and so on wow. and so forth. Did you speak to some of the students? Um, a little bit, mm-hmm. not much. Yeah. Um, there were other people that I talked to. Um, I went to another ballet school in Williamstown, mm-hmm. who, and I watched a class there and did a lot of research. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the advantages about the internet. Um, mm. There are some websites, for example, um, American websites, that give you not only huge amounts of information, uh, but also videos, video clips ah. of particular um, exercises and movements and steps and so on. That is the beauty of the internet, isn't it? You it can is. source all this information from your, your, your lounge room, so to speak. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So all of that was really helpful. I also bought some books. Um, I like to visualise things. So yes. for me, watching movies and watching video clips and then looking at photographs and um, was a big part of it. So how long did it take you to write this from when you first thought this is a good idea, (laughs) to it being finished to go to the publisher? Probably about eight months. Mm -hmm. Um, And initially I thought that it would be two books. So the first book was about them coming to Melbourne and her having to go to a top uh, private ballet school in Melbourne in order to get her skills up enough to then audition. Mm Mm-hmm. And then the University of Queensland Press read the manuscript and said they really liked it, but they only wanted one book. And they felt that it really was only a one-book story, which I agreed. Yeah. And so, but what I had to do was all the stuff I had plotted for the second book, I had to kind of cut out half of the first book and then take the main stuff from the second book and make it the second half of the first book. So there was a lot of restructuring. So it was always in your mind to make it a novel? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how many novels have you written for that age group? Probably five. Okay. Okay. I've got a young adult novel that was published in the UK last year, which is for about 14 to 16. Mm-hmm. I've got a couple of others that are in the bottom drawer that <laughs> may never be published, which is one of the things that you sort of happens to a lot of people. And I've got some other um, slightly shorter novels for upper primary. Um, there's two Tracy Binns books with UQP. Yes. Tracy Binns is Trouble and Tracy Binns is Lost, which yes. are humorous ones. Um, but, yes, they do take longer to write, of course, because they're bigger. Mm, absolutely. And they're my really big historical pri- pirate novel, which I've been working on for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> which started the pirate. Which did, the pirate yes, journey. and it's also going to be published next year, oh, finally. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. So what, how big is that book? Oh, goodness, that started at 120,000 words, <laughs> which for a children's <laughs> book is way too long. Although I kept saying, but Harry Potter's that long, and publishers are saying, well, that's Harry Potter, and that's different. So how um, how will it end up at the end? How many At the moment, pages? after eight drafts, mm-hmm. it's 80,000. Right. Um, and now I have to rewrite it and probably restructure it quite a bit and it's quite interesting because I've just started 
getting a whole lot of new research materials, books that are out now that right. when I first started writing this novel were not published. Oh, well, pirates became such a popular subject, didn't they? Yes, yes. And it's very interesting to see that there's a whole lot of new material out which actually contradicts a lot of the stuff that I based the original story on. Oh, dear. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm thinking, hmm, do I change it or oh, don't I? Oh, you make I? it a fantasy pirate novel. Mm. So One Perfect Pirate, that is actually being released? Well, it's coming out the same day as the picture book, but um, I'm not having a launch party for that Mm -hmm. until after the school holidays. And the Sun Bookshop in Yarraville, which is a fantastic bookshop, is going to, we're going to have the launch there on Saturday, the 17th of July. Excellent, excellent. I can go to that one. <laughs> bring your bring, bring your ballet shoes. I will. And I your will. tutu. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. But anyway, so that's called One Perfect Pirouette, which is a, a novel for um, late uh, primary, early high school. Yeah, about 10 to 14. 10 to 14. And we've also got the picture book now, I'm Bigger, which is being launched on the 24th of June. 29th. Sorry, the 29th yeah. of June at the Altona North New Library. New Library. Absolutely. Lovely new library. Absolutely. Mm. So don't forget, we have got a giveaway from Cheryl, Motor Mouth, and if you'd like to get a copy of that, then just send me an email to talk on Friday at hotmail.com. And we've also got another giveaway, which is actually an adult short story that you've written, which is in the Griffin Review. So if you'd like to have some examples of Cheryl, and she will autograph them, then you can just send me an email to talk on Friday at hotmail.com with your name and address, and we'd love to send them out to you. So thank you, Cheryl. Our time's almost up, unfortunately. That went quick, didn't it? It did, and I haven't even... I've got a long list here of books <laughs> I wanted to ask you about, and we didn't even get a chance to talk about them. So you're going to have to come back. <laughs> you have to come back. So thank you very much for coming into the studio tonight. appreciate it. And don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of Cheryl's books that we're giving away, which is Motor Mouth, and also, what's the title of the short story? Um, the title is The Other Side of the World. Okay. And the Griffith Review, it's a journal, but they do a big fiction issue each year. Yes. And so this was their recent fiction issue, which is a great collection of new Australian short stories. Wow, absolutely. So I don't know why you wouldn't want that. So... Don't be afraid. Send us an email to talk on Friday at hotmail.com. And our time's almost up. Now, don't forget to tune in tomorrow to Denise and Andrea on Friday. We've got a new artist that's going to be coming on the show. To um, We're going to listen to some of her music. And don't forget to tune in again next week to Creative Corner with uh, Denise at 6 to 8 on Thursday. Now, just give us again those launch dates before you go, Cheryl. The picture book, Now I Am Bigger is going to be at the Altona North Library on Tuesday the 29th of June at 10.30. So if you go to the Hobson's Bay Library's website, Mm -hmm. it's under the events section if you forget those details. And one perfect pirouette for all those um, keen dance people and anyone who wants a good ballet novel is at the Sun Bookshop on Saturday the 17th of July at 11am. Absolutely. Well, get along and you can meet Cheryl and I quite like that you're going to read the uh, the picture book out. That'd be lovely. <laughs> I think we're going to do some pirate stuff too that day at the library. Oh, wow. They Jeez. always have a little craft. I want thing. holidays. Otherwise, I'd be there. I might even come dressed up as a pirate. If I... <laughs> <laughs> so thanks very much to tuning into Creative Corner with Denise. You, and you're listening to Win FM Werribee on 88.9 FM. <laughs>